When Leo was about, he's about Jesus. six months old, um, I started noticing that he wasn't hitting milestones. And it was about a year after that that he was given the cerebral palsy diagnosis. For most of Leo's life, Medicaid covered probably 75% of services. If the Republican health care bill passed, he would potentially lose access to his speech therapy, to his neurologist, to his ophthalmologist, pediatrics. If this legislation were the law, we would be facing an increase in premiums. Making insurance unaffordable is the same thing as denying people access to insurance, right? Trump said that people would not be excluded because of pre-existing conditions, but <laughs> making healthcare unaffordable is excluding people. When I hear about what other families are facing, um, whether it is things like medication or surgeries, things that they depend on to literally keep their children alive, that they would lose access to if this legislation passed, it's really devastating. No one should have to choose between paying rent and paying for insurance. It's just not right. Leo was born with cerebral palsy, and defining him by that and limiting his access to the health care that he needs because of the way that he was born is like the purest form of discrimination in my mind. It is basically saying that there's something wrong with the way that he was born or that he is flawed in some way. He's not. He's amazing. I'm not a baby anymore. And you're I not don't. a baby anymore. That's true. Um, <laughs> and cerebral palsy is a part of who he is. And he shouldn't be penalized for that. People watching this, please protect people like Leo and I and ask your senators to vote no on the Affordable Care Act repeal.